Just Cause Brioffka. CZ, manufacturer of you. Let's do it. Welcome back everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms coming at y'all today with a manufacturer review of CZ or my terrible pronunciation of Czeska Briolovka. I think that's right, but anyway, great firearms company. They've been producing firearms since about 1936, so the brand or the, I guess I should say, the name has been around since about 1902 or so and they have just been kicking butt in the firearms industry recently and well actually all throughout history they have and I kind of wanted to start off this video showcasing some of their most popular firearms the Scorpion now it's not the VZ 61 that we all know and love that Scorpion which looks like this guy here spelled with a K not a C that one was actually the well what they wanted to do was bridge the gap between semi auto pistols and submachine guns with a sub submachine gun. Pretty much a little guy chambered in 32 ACP or 9x18 Makarov and one other caliber out there. But yeah, overall just a really cool gun. We'll fast forward a few decades and the new Scorpion, the Evo 3, is a little bit different, but it's still kind of similar. The fact that they're little SMGs or sub guns, right? Now, granted, these are not technically submachine guns by definition because they don't have a select fire. Now mine personally does have a third position, but that's because it has the Franklin Armory binary trigger in it. So what does that mean? It goes bang when you pull the trigger and release the trigger. And it is a lot of fun in this guy. It runs. All right, now a whole lot of fun. Now these guys are great because, well, first off, when it comes to sub guns, typically they're expensive, all right? You see things like MP5s or their clones and variations of it. You see things like, well, there's the MP5. We've got the BNT, APC9, the GH9. There's, they're expensive for what they are, right? Well, enter something like this and, well, you can get yourself something very cool. It functions really well, it's reliable, and it doesn't have as complex complicated a system to it like a radial delayed or anything like that. No, it's just a direct blowback design. Cool, easy enough. And they're lightweight, mostly polymer, right? Uh, but you can get them in different configurations. You can customize them. There's so many aftermarket accessories and everything else for them out there that they really are just fun. Like this guy right here is the Evo 3 S1. This is how it comes from uh, from CZ, you've got this extended rail up here, a little bit longer barrel, which is nice. Longer sight radius is what that'll offer, of course. SB Tactile side folding brace. But you'll notice like some of the differences that you'll see on mine is, well, I've got a much shorter barrel that actually ends right back here as this was the K model and decided to throw on a longer rail and go with a full-time suppression on it because why the heck not, right? On top of that, I've got a different grip on here by Magpul because I'm not a huge fan of the grip angle and just how this fits, right? Uh, different safety because, well, the safety on these guys aren't all that comfortable and also Franklin Armory includes a different safety when you install their binary trigger, naturally. A different brace as well and even an extended mag release back here. So just all sorts of different things that you can do to uh, make these guys a little unique. Uh, another guy out there I've seen makes like uh, UMP clones. UMP, like the HK UMP 45, but in 9mm, and it looks like a UMP, but takes, you know, Scorpion mags. And Scorpion mags are affordable, and you can find them all over the place. Awesome little guns, and again, something that we've seen just a lot of growing in popularity and limited service in some areas, but all around just a great gun and a whole lot of fun. With that being said, Let's talk about another great gun that's a whole lot of fun, that's super accurate, has a phenomenal trigger. Let's get into the Shadow series. What we've got here is the CZ Shadow 2. Based off of the CZ 75, which is a phenomenal pistol, even there were a few uh, select fire models uh, <laughs> that were developed, which is pretty cool. Uh, but the CZ 75 is a fantastic pistol and has been around in all sorts of different variants for, well, since, you know, the mid 70s. How about that? But what we have here is quite possibly, arguably, one of the best versions of it. Granted, if you're into competitive you know, shooting and you want thorough accuracy and great, great recoil reduction, then definitely check out the Shadow 2. However, it is a heavy guy, that's for sure. But the Shadow 2 had, you know, not really carry methods in mind, but more of that competitive style to it. In fact, 
let's just go ahead and check out this trigger because it's phenomenal on this guy. It is a double action, single action. And we'll see here that we are in its single action state and we have just a little bit of take up on this trigger. And then that is it. Oof, that feels great. Nice lightweight, reset, nice and short as well. Let's fill that double action on it here. Nice and smooth. Yeah, that just feels good. And the fact too that it has double stack magazines is very nice. 19 round capacity on this guy, which is very cool. Chambered in nine millimeter, of course. And just a phenomenal shooting gun. You'll notice too, just how, <laughs> how kind of like thin the slide is on it. A nice light and uh, reduced slide from what the original CZ75 was. Having a lighter slide is less mass coming back and then also mitigating the recoil or the felt recoil. And then because that barrel is sitting so low too, and it's more in line with the shooter's arm or wrist, that's what's called a lower bore axis on this guy. Also helping reduce felt recoil, very nice. And then of course the added weight helps reduce recoil as well. But overall, just a fantastic pistol and even having the RMR cuts and all, great, great job. And like I said, there's been all sorts of pistols, the P10s, all sorts of things that are great carry guns that CZ has made over the years that you know I simply just don't have in my possession right now, but happy to have probably one of the best iterations of what they have, the Shadow 2 here. And speaking of which, we all know Colt makes you know, 1911s and things like that. And recently CZ has actually acquired Colt because for a while Colt was just struggling as in, you know, what are you gonna do when you have like no innovation? But it, it is what it is, right? So let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I kinda wanna hear from you guys. Do you think CZ is going to save Colt? I mean, it looks like they're keeping some of the same management in place right now. For me, maybe that's just a strategy. Let's figure out what not to do and then bring in a whole new staff and actually change the direction of this very iconic and famous manufacturer and let's actually make something cool. Maybe that'll be more of their competitive series like what they did with Dan Wesson, things like that. I don't know. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about CZ acquiring Colt ultimately. That being said, I hope they don't change anything about the CZ shadows, unless they look to make some more improvements, which would be difficult for me to actually point out on this gun. Just overall, a fantastic shooter. And the CZ75 lineup, again, all sorts of different variations. Probably one of the best pistols in the world, if you ask me, up there with the high power. And yes, I'm gonna say it, even the 1911. Next up is this guy right here. This is the CZ Bryn 2. Now, originally the Bryn 805 or the 805 Bryn, whatever you want to call it, was designed to replace the very cool rifle VZ58, which was chambered in 762 by 39. But even though it looks similar to an AK, it is definitely not. It actually has no parts whatsoever that can be interchanged with your standard AK, AKM. And it also uses a different operating system, which is also the same operating system that this gun uses, which is a short stroke piston compared to the long stroke piston system of the AK. Now the short stroke system works similarly to a long stroke piston, except for the long stroke system on the AK is actually the piston itself is connected to the bolt carrier group. Look at it this way, the piston system on the Brins and VZ58s and Dragonovs and things like that, there's nothing connecting the bolt carrier group to the piston. Look at it that way, all right? So with all that being said, this gun right here was designed to be completely modular. And what I mean by that is you can actually replace the barrel on this and change out the caliber on it. So right now this one's chambered for 556, but if I wanted it to be chambered in 762 by 39, simply swap out the barrel and put in the lower receiver that it was designed to take the AK mag and now I'm running 762 by 39. Modularity is something that we're seeing to be more prevalent in the present and that's simply because people, militaries, law enforcement are wanting to be able to change up their entire system for whatever the mission dictates. So instead of having to have an arsenal full of different guns for different scenarios, you just have one gun with a bunch of different parts and accessories to make it well, you know, used in any type of application. So that way you don't have to really get familiar with different controls and things like that. You don't have to really worry about <laughs> all of these different guns. You can just have one gun able to do a multitude of jobs, which is very neat. So like I said, short stroke piston design, this guy is 
a really neat gun. The MS model here is pretty much just the semi-auto variant of the Bren 2 made for the civilian market. That's really all there is to it. M-lock rail right up front. You do have an adjustable gas piston right up front or gas block, excuse me. So I like that a lot. Picatinny rail that runs the full length of the upper receiver, which is awesome. And also too, it does come with sights. How cool is that? I do have an EOTech on here because well, I like EOTechs, all right? Also, too, it does come with one 30-round magazine. You'll notice a polymer lower receiver on this guy, and there is, it's floating around out there somewhere. We actually took a photo with it in a very quick video with it at SHOT Show last year, 2020, before, you know, the world started to end. And uh, we were at CZ's booth, and I did get my hands on the Bryn 2 chambered in 7.62 NATO. That's what we're all waiting for. That's all we want is a into the civilian market the CZ Bryn 2 battle rifle. That's, that's what we're hoping for, maybe one day, all right? If we had actually get our hands on one and actually shoot it, it would probably have been my pick for the battle rifle fight that we recently had where Matt was you know, showing off my PTR-91 in place of a G3 because he couldn't find one because G3s aren't available. And then Alec showing off the IWI Glil Ace. Cool rifle, but it's not as proven, maybe as reliable as an FAL, but if the Bryn 2 battle rifle chambered in 762 NATO was around, I may have taken it over the FAL. Whew, bold statement, I know. What do you guys think about that comment? Let me know down below. With all that being said, really neat firearm. Everything about it is super ergonomic and also ambidextrous. Mag release here, mag release here, bolt release here, bolt release here, safety. So everything that you need for this guy to run. Even the charging handle you can switch to the other side, which is pretty cool. Oh, by the way, the charging handle, non-reciprocating. Just thought I'd throw that out there. So anyway, right now the 805 Bryn is pretty much uh, the Czech Republic standard issue rifle. And yes, it is the Czech Republic, the Czechoslovakia doesn't exist anymore when, you know, CZ pretty much started. And there was all sorts of different little countries all over the place, but you know, Russia swallows a bunch of them. But anyway, the Czech Republic is making some seriously cool guns and it shows because their company is doing well. They have quality products that are in use around the world and they have partnered with some awesome brands. Again, I'll bring up Den Wesson again to make some more competitive lines. And with their acquisition of Colt, I'm gonna bring it up one more time because Ryan and I have had a good discussion here. Ryan is our videographer for those new to the channel. Say hey to Ryan, everybody. Ryan, say hey. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> Right. Anyway, uh, we had a good discussion because maybe CZ wants to get into the AR world. Yes, I know. Another manufacturer producing AR-15s. Remember a couple years ago when Smith & Wesson started making, or not Smith & Wesson, but Springfield started making the Saint, and we're like, oh my goodness, another AR-15, another gun manufacturer making an AR-15? Who asked for this? Well, fast forward to 2020, 2020 Part 2, also known as 2021. We want more AR-15s. We want more manufacturers producing AR-15s. And we want more manufacturers, quality manufacturers, making quality AR-15s. So if CZ is going to be doing it, why not do it under the Colt name? Speculation. All right, anyway, let us know your thoughts about that down in the comments section. And I want to know, what's your favorite CZ gun? They also make some phenomenal bolt-action rifles, shotguns, beautiful stuff. And, of course, we have some of that stuff available on our website. Shameless plug here, ClassicFirearms.com, for all of your Second Amendment needs, wants, and joys, including ammo, which, by the way, if you are suffering from the ammo Geddon that we are currently going through, make sure that you are signing up for our video video, our text alerts by texting the word video to the number you see at the bottom of your screen. And also you could just simply take a photo of this QR code that you have right here. By doing this, you are signing up for our text alerts. What does that do? What does that mean? That means that whenever our ammo goes live or we have something really cool happening, you'll be the first notified via text. So don't miss out. And if you want ammo, then sign up for the text alerts, all right? Because we are getting ammo at a regular basis, okay? Also, too, we'll let you know of new giveaways that are pretty sweet, like the one that we've currently got going on right now, the Tommy Built Tactical T36. This 5.56 guy right here is a beautiful clone of the G36 by HK. If you want to find out a little bit more information about this guy, make sure you go check out our video announcing this as our giveaway. It's a fun one, all right? And also, too, don't forget that we have several entry methods to get your entries at no purchase necessary, no cost. And also too, it's not who has the most entries that wins. All it takes is one, it's randomly selected. One of those entry methods to get you about 400 entries is a code word, code word Tommy, T-O-M-M-Y. 
don't miss out. Guys, as always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.